Okay. Today we're looking at a vacuum cleaner. It's a Hoover Sprint Quick Vac. And it has a power brush roll and an accessory hose on it. And the complaint or the, the comment from the person who dropped it off said, it's missing a piece, but when we got it, we were told that the main piece worked perfectly without it. It did work well for a week or so, but now it seems like it just doesn't pull debris into the canister and instead lets it spin around and then comes spraying out of the bottom part whenever it pleases. So that's, uh, that's the information we have on it so far. <coughs> that and it looks like uh, at some point in its life, this may have also been, uh, had a visit to Goodwill and was sold for $9.99. So, uh, what we're going to do is just basic troubleshooting and we'll start, uh, we'll start with the cord. We know that it works, but we still like to look at the cord when something comes in uh, from beginning to end just to make sure that it's, it's safe. So, I'll start by looking at the, at the back here where it attaches. And then I'm just going to run my hands along the cord feeling for any nicks or places where there's insulation missing. So I want to be sure this is safe to plug in. And it doesn't look like there's any issue with this at all. If anything, uh, the cord feels like it's, it's almost new. Um, now when I turn this over, a good bunch of stuff fell out of it. So. Uh, it seems right, the suction's not working. What I'm going to do before I even start is I'm going to run the vacuum cleaner for a second and just suck some of the debris out of the bottom of this. So we got a little bit of the debris out, debris out of it. So while I'm looking at this, um, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like there may have been some people with long hair who lived with this vacuum for a while. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and between the fuzzy parts we're just going to use this razor knife and cut through the hair Run the vacuum again. All right. So when I turn this on, I expect to find vacuum at the handle. Uh, and we'll see. Just let's just track the vacuum. So. When you turn it on, the motor, the motor runs, creates a vacuum in the cup here. Uh, there's some filters here that protect the motor, but it creates a vacuum in the cup and pulls the air through. And the air comes into here and the dirt gets trapped by the filters. And then the, the air, the exhaust air, goes out the bottom. So, um, so you have suction here at the edge of the canister. Right now what's happening is that suction is being routed through this hose. Right, up to this hand attachment. So if we were to pull this hand attachment out, when we turn it on, we'll feel that's where the vacuum is. We'll be able to tell that that's where the vacuum is. And we'll be able to tell that because when we put our hand over it, we'll hear it speed up and then slow down. And that'll tell us that's where the vacuum is. But what we have to do is we have to get the, the vacuum hose, the vacuum, into the bottom part if we want to use that uh, on rugs.
Well, that was fun. So, um, there's nominal, if any, vacuum coming out of this, which would indicate to me that it's either plugged or there is no vacuum uh, down here. And so the next thing we'll do is we'll remove the hose here and see if that, if there's more vacuum right at the edge of the cylinder. out and we'll see if we had any vacuum. Okay. So what you couldn't see but what I could feel was when I put my hand up under here I'm getting a good amount what of that's vacuum. telling me is uh, because I wasn't getting that vacuum out of the other end of this hose that you've got a plug in the hose. So first thing we'll do is clear the plug in the hose. Oh Lord, I can see the I can see the plug. So. Matter of fact, something very sharp is trying to come out through the hose here. And that's a bad thing. So I'm going to get a long stick to push through it. Come back. So I'm going to move a this is a broomstick and I've disconnected both ends of the hose here and now I'm just going to insert the broomstick in the one end of the hose and straighten the hose out and start pushing and eventually what will happen is stuff will come out of the other end. There we go. Okay, so that. Okay. And that. And suck all that up again. And so I don't know if you can see all of what's going on there. It looks like we got the sharp thing out of there. Whatever it was. And there we go. There. So you guys can see that this is what came out of the hose and that's why the hose wasn't wasn't sucking stuff up so uh, we're going to suck that up okay so now we know the um, the hand part of this is going to work fine. Uh, the suction seemed to be acceptable. Uh, it's what you were using before coming out of the canister. Uh, this is where it was attached. And that's how you can tell it's making good suction. So. So all kinds of other things that one could do to this to uh, try to clean it up or recondition it and stuff. And I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to uh, put this back together and then give you guys a give you guys a call. I do want to show you one other thing. Though. Um, let's put this in. And then let's put 
put this back together. And what I wanted to show you was, uh, and you maybe you know this, but if you disconnect this hose from the handle, okay, and and you run it over here and put it down into there, then the bottom piece will suck up stuff. Okay, and if you want to use the wand, then you of course move the hose from the four piece, four nozzle, to the wand. Does that make sense? So, in order for this to actually suck stuff off the floor, it has to be plugged in down there. I'm going to call that done. Thanks for bringing it in.